They're so adorable. Mm. That's really good. It looks like a gourmet burger. Oh my god. I wonder who made that. It's really good. Would you believe me if I told you it was a Whopper from Burger King? This is a Whopper? Oh my god. We're eating Burger King. I can't believe it that this is actually Burger King. I mean, they're... now I believe it. They are Joshua, Joshua and, and they are David, David and they, they are brothers, brothers not, not lovers. lovers. Hey guys, I'm Davey. What's up? Just once. Just once, can you just say, and I'm Josh? Just once. No, that, that's my name. And welcome to Really? Where we take something that may have gone overlooked in a movie All and right. we say, well, really? Dave, Dave. What? I have to, a little announcement I've got to make. Is this about Harold? As you all know, we have been trying very hard to get Harold back. But unfortunately, it's just not going to happen. He didn't make it. His remains were found in a tub full of scrum diddly umptious. The candy man found him. Oh, the As we all know, can. the candy man can. His funeral, his wake, will be tomorrow night at 7 sharp. Bring flowers, cards, but for the love of God, don't bring any Wonka bars. Show some respect. Oh, God, Harold. You're, you're in heaven now, an everlasting golf stopper in God's mouth. <laughs> oh, Harold. You're such an idiot. <laughs> Okay. I think I got it out. What about Harold's grieving widow? <laughs> she gets nothing! Kept her wonk bars and they're worthless now. You okay? <laughs> so now that we're actually doing an entire segment just for really, we're gonna give you two reallys. Which is gonna be mine and that's gonna be his. Since he's clearly despondent right now. I'll go ahead and do my really first. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'll name my, my first son after you, Harold. Go ahead and do your thing. My really comes from the movie National Lampoon's Vacation. Starring Chevy Chase and che Beverly D'Angelo. Chevy Chase, not Chevy. Chevy, Chevy. Two Let's totally different thing things. Off. Don't do it. So from National Lampoon's Vacation, yes, starring Chevy Chase and Beverly and D'Angelo, also a young Anthony Michael Hall, a movie where they're going to Wally World, which was a made-up theme park, not a retail chain as many of you like to refer to it as. Wally World is a theme park made up for a movie! It was the movie version of Disneyland. Roy Wally, Walt Disney, same people. Ever since that movie came out with that stupid theme park, everybody likes to refer to Walmart as Wally World. It's Walmart. Calm down, Beavis. Anywho, in National Lampoon's Vacation, something I noticed in the very beginning of the film, they're talking about going to Wally World and they're arguing on whether or not they should drive there or take a plane while doing the dishes. However, the way they're doing the dishes is Beverly D'Angelo's character is scooping the food off the plates, handing it to Chevy Chase, Clark, and he is just simply putting it into the cabinet. You not even gonna wash the dishes? Really? That's not cleaning the dishes. Maybe that's the way my eight-year-old cleans dishes, but that's not how you clean dishes. Really? Wow, dude. <laughs> way to nitpick. I'm not nitpicking. They're putting disgusting, dirty dishes away. We can forgive it because they have one of the greatest lines Ever. But Daddy says I'm the best at it. <laughs> You're stupid. 
butt wide. Okay, now it's my turn for a really. Now it's not about weird science, even though I would love to sit here and talk about the gorgeous Kim Mallon only getting one scene where she's getting sucked out of a piano through a fireplace. So gorgeous. Anyway. How do you know the names of actresses that have such a minuscule parts in movies? She's been in other stuff and she was a Playboy model. Anyway. He doesn't have a life. We're going to talk about Back to the Future. The movie that I'm sorry to sound racist can only have a white guy do it. Because what black guy would actually go back to the 50s? None. It wouldn't be a good idea. No. Oh. Will Smith tried it, failed. Anyway, now this movie is perfect overall. I mean, guy gets with his younger mom, almost hooks up. Gross, but kind of cool. Be Especially if it's Leah Thompson. Okay, but be careful what you say about Back to the Future. This is one of the greatest movies in history. So great that they almost remade it with Justin Bieber. <laughs> That's not true. They almost remade it with Daniel Radcliffe. Forget about that. Let's try to ignore that Marty actually tried to help his dad hook up with his mom by sexually assaulting her. I mean, seriously, what kind of a plan is that? Couldn't you have said you were gonna, like, tie her up and put her in front of a train? No, you gotta get antsy. Gross. Marty gets thwarted by Biff, who then starts trying to, you know, force himself on Lorraine. And who comes to the rescue but, hey, you. Get your damn hands off her. T tell him the ending. <laughs> That's the best part. So we get to the end of that. You know, Biff got stopped, beat up by George. They fall in love. Marty goes back to the future. Oh, I get it now. He goes back to the future. His time. Who does his dad have in the employment? Biff! The guy who tried to rape his wife. I know this is PG-13, but seriously, what kind of a what kind of a monster does that? Was he trying to keep Lorraine in line? Like, hey, Lorraine, be a good, obedient little wife, or Biff's just a call away. I think they were just trying to show that in the beginning. Biff is dominant over George, and at the end, George is dominant over Biff. Like Biff works for him now. Nothing says I've dominated you like marrying the woman you tried to rape. I will say that is probably a little bit egotistical. But then again, if it was, if it's Leah Thompson we're talking about, yeah, I get it. I'd be flaunting her too. Yeah, but I still think that I'd want to keep the guy who attempted to rape her as far away from her as possible. Flaunting her in that same outfit from Howard the Duck. Wait, what? Oh, right. You were talking. I didn't hear you. But that's my, really? Seriously. So there you have it. Wash the dishes. And keep a guy who tried to rape your wife away from your wife. And keep him away from your kids. Really?